Hey friends, we have Curious George and the Dinosaur, edited by Margaret Ray and Alan J. Shalik. Jimmy's class was taking a field trip to the museum, and George was going along. We're glad to have you, George, said Mr. Chauncey, the teacher, but don't get into trouble. At the museum, Mr. Chauncey began to explain one of the displays. These rocks are millions of years old. The students weren't listening. This is boring, said a student. It sure is, said another. When is lunchtime? asked a third. George wandered off. He didn't find the rocks very interesting either. But in the next room, George saw something very interesting. It was a huge skeleton. What a long tail! It was too much for George to resist. He stepped over the rope and jumped onto the tail. He climbed down, then he climbed up. He climbed up and up until he reached the skeleton's head. Skeleton's head looks like it's laughing with George. Just then, Mr. Chauncey and the class came into the room. Look at that dinosaur, said Jimmy. And look at George, he shouted. Ride him, George, cried a girl. The guards heard the noise. Get down from there, ordered one of them. I'm going to get the director, said the other. George was scared. Is that how they rode dinosaurs in the old days? A girl asked Mr. Chauncey. Well, no, he said. Tell us more about the dinosaurs, someone said. George was curious. What was a dinosaur? Well, said Mr. Chauncey, the earth was once full of huge creatures like this. And all the students are interested now. Suddenly, the director of the museum came charging in. What's this about a monkey on our dinosaur, he asked. Guards, get that monkey down before he causes any damage, he ordered. Poor George. There he was on top of a dinosaur, and no place to hide. Just a moment, said Mr. Chauncey. George was a great help to me. He got the children interested in the dinosaurs. We wouldn't have listened, said a boy. It's so interesting, said another. I want to come back again, said a girl. Well, said the director, I can see that our dinosaur isn't damaged. We'll forgive him this time. You can come down, George, he called. George jumps down. Hooray! the student shouted. Mr. Chauncey said, I have to thank you for making this visit an interesting one, George. But next time, promise not to ride the dinosaur. When the bus stopped in front of George's house, the man in the yellow hat was waiting. I'm glad to see you, George, he said. I hope you kept out of trouble today. The End